Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to work on finishing up this journal. I think I say that in every video, but this time I'd like to really finish. Um, we've got the inside pretty much done and I'll show you a couple of things that I did off camera. And I would like to decorate the cover and we're gonna add um, grommets so we can have a tie to tie it off because it is a little stuffed and I'd like to be able to tie it off. So as you can see, I did do some stuff off camera and I apologize for it because basically I was just me sitting around saying, would this look good? What about this? So I didn't want to sit on camera and think about all that <clears throat> because the video would be really super long. So anyway, uh, what I do is I added some lace borders to a few and I don't want to show you everything because I am going to be selling this and I want whoever's getting it to be surprised. So I added a bunch of new stuff into it. Um, I did some stamping and some stenciling and I added some pockets to the front and back. A couple more stickers here and there. Um, so like I said, I think I'm going to sell this so I want there to be some surprises for the person that buys it. So anyway, let's get started. The first thing I think we're going to do is add the grommets, I keep saying grommet, eyelet, add the eyelets to the book. And I want to do these jumbo eyelets so we can put a ribbon in there. And this is what they look like. All right. And I do have the crocodile. And that's what I'm going to use today to do this, but I think you can do it. Um, there is another way to do it by hand. I think you need some tools, which I don't have. So um, if you didn't want to, or you don't have the ability to do the eyelets, then you could just wrap um, whatever closure, string, ribbon, lace, whatever you're going to use um, around it <clears throat> and just tie it. A lot of people do that. This one I wanted to try using my crocodile for that. So, so the first thing we're going to do is put the hole in. And I kind of made a little mark where I want, or I think I want it to be. So I've set this to the largest size, which is, what's that say? 3 sixteenths. There's 3 sixteenths and 1 eighth hole. So, now I'm just going to, I don't think you can see it because the crocodile itself is in the way, but I'm going to put this kind of, whoops, kind of where I marked it. And then it's probably gonna be really hard. Oh, yeah, that was hard. <laughs> well, you're going through a book page, so that's, that's part of it. Um, there it is. That's what we just punched out. So now we're going to fit the grommet on in the hole, if I can. And then we're going to use this, this setting here. I don't know if you can see that to set the eyelet. I keep saying ground it. It's an eyelet. I don't know what the difference is, but oops, I can move this up. I think I'm going to use some pressure. Mm. Sorry, move the camera. There we go. And let's see how it looks. And it, it didn't go through. Ooh, I wonder if this is too thick for that. Um, I'm not sure what I need to do. Do I need to put one on the other side? That seems like dangerous. Okay, well, I just tried to push it out from the other side and it's not coming out, so... 
I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. It didn't come all the way through. Maybe I'll just finish that part off um, with something else. I'll look it up on Google, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna do it to the back side too. And and then go from there, I guess. Let me just see where I wanna put it. Let's do this side now. I think I lost my mark. Set the other grommet from the back. Let's get this. Oh, got some strings coming out. That one's set as well. Again, I'm gonna have to figure out something there, but they aren't coming out. I tried, I tried to push it out from the other side and it would not come out. So I just like to seal up that other side of the hole. So, <clears throat> all right, so then that's all set and ready for some ribbon. I gotta pick some ribbon out. Um, but in the meantime, there was something else I wanted to do, and that was cover the corners, because remember the glue kind of seeped through and made it kind of look ugly. <laughs> I don't know another word for it, but ugly. So I bought these book corners, and they actually have holes for nails, but I'm just gonna glue it and squeeze it on with some some pliers. I'm gonna go get those, so hang on. Okay, I found my pliers, and I've just wrapped um, washi tape on them, just because I don't wanna scratch it, and I don't have the proper, I know there's a tool you can buy, that would keep it from getting scratched, but I don't have it, so that's what I'm doing. Put some glue in. Oh, here's the mailman here. He just stopped by to apologize. Because yesterday there was a package that I was expecting and it said it had been delivered and it wasn't on the porch and I was home. So I thought, well, maybe he scanned it and hadn't put it up there yet. So anyway, I stopped by the post office because I was, I was near there and asked them and they said, okay, he, dropped, he still had it in his truck. So he just dropped it off and go look and see if it's out there. So I went and nothing, there was nothing out there. So I said, you know what, let me just look at the neighbor's house. So he, sure enough, it was at the next door neighbor's house. <laughs> so he just came and apologized for all that worry. And I'll have to show you what I got because it is so awesome. It was basically a birthday present to myself. Okay, so I'm just kind of gently trying to bend these 
pieces around. It's not easy. This is a thick book. I think next time I'm gonna use, well, I already started one with a book. Next time I'm just gonna use a, some, okay. Let's squeeze that down. Don't want any sharp corners. Okay. All right, that's not too bad. That looks pretty cool. Matches with the eyelet. All right. Let's do the other one. Got some glue on my pliers. Don't want them to get locked shut. Okay. Put some more glue and I'm just using Fabrifix. I am gluing to fabric, but I like this glue. It pretty much works on anything. Well, it works on a lot of stuff. Let me just say that. Okay. One side. Is that coming into focus for you? Oops, sorry, just hit the camera. Pretty cool. I like it. Covers up the little corner doodab. <laughs> doodab. The corner kind of. I don't know. I don't want to call it. Well, I guess it was a mess up. I put too much glue on. So. All right. Well, there's that done. So now I want to. Oh, this needs some more squeezing. I want to next um, do, oh, got a little, pulled some of my, I might have to go get the tool because this is kind of a pain. Okay, so next I want to I gotta fix that corner. It's a little there we go. It's still sticking out a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna pause for a second while I work on that. You don't need to see me struggle. Well, I had to get out the hammer and hammer some of that down, but I might redo these if I, <laughs> if I get the tool because, I mean, they look fine. They look okay. This one just doesn't fit perfectly. Like there's a gap on each side. It's kind of weird. Like how's that? Unless it's not pushed on all the way. Anyway. I'm gonna work on that some more. <laughs> because like I said, I wanna sell this and I don't want it to look with, with the gaps. Oh, well, and the garbage man's here. So that's the noise you hear. All right, so next we are going to work on the, the actual decorating of the cover. So I found this picture of a couple of owls that I thought was really pretty. And I'm just gonna layer it up with some lace and this is some vellum that's like striped. I'm gonna put it on here. And I also want to cover the spine with some lace too. So I have this big piece of lace and 
I think I'm going to... I'm not sure where I'm going to... Maybe there. I think I'm going to do the lace first and then put this on top. So I think that would look pretty. A little extra layers. Yeah. So, again, we're going to use the Fabrifix. And I'm just going to cover the book. The cover of the book with the glue. I'm going to cover the cover. And then we'll do the spine after we get this all. You want to get it right to the edge. I'm going to try to center that. Oh, no. Wrong spot. There we go. Center that part. Okay, I feel like that's a little crooked. I'm going to straighten it out. scissors out and cut on here. Do the same thing on the top. And trim it up. After I'm done, I just want to be able to flip this over. And kind of see where, how far I want to go on this. Oh, I've got too much stuff on my desk now. So I don't think I want to cover, well, I don't know. I can't totally cover. Well, I suppose I could cut out a circle there for the ribbon, but I want to, I think I want to cover about half of it. So let's just cut that now and then we'll because it's not going to look super pretty with it just a cut end there so we will put something else on there to kind of make that look nicer okay so let's glue that let me finish cutting this so it's out of the way I like about working on junk journals is you really don't have to measure anything and when something looks odd you can always add more to make it look better I got some dust and stuff on here I'm trying to get off okay before I glue let's strain that out a little okay I feel like I'm a little off. Here we go. Okay. I'm just going to make a line here. Actually, I'm going to cover. In between. Some of this glue you gotta put a lot on because some gets absorbed by the cover since it's fabric. And then we can go in, oops, am I out of range here? We can go in and Add a little more. 
like I said, we're gonna put something else to kind of cover that raw edge there. Trim this. Oop. Gotta use my fabric scissors. back as it stands and make glue here where it's a little loose and we will I got a little spot here see that just fabric just absorbs that okay and we'll put something there, whether it's paper, some paper, or, well, that doesn't look good, but maybe some lace, ribbon, bracelet, ribbon, lace, ribbon, or paper. We will do that, but let's get back to the front. here to trim off as well. And if it's not all glued down, it's not that big a deal. So, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, I have this little cluster that I want to glue onto the front there, but I'm gonna, I am going to age it up a bit with some vintage photo. all the layers and it gives it a cohesive look. And it makes it look a little more vintage, which is kind of what we're going for on this. And I think the lace is fine. We'll just, we'll just, uh, ink up the paper edges and that just gives it a nice vintage feel even though the paper is vintage we cut it out so we cut off kind of the aged parts so we're just giving it its age back yeah I think that'll look nice so because this is vellum, I'm only going to glue in the center because otherwise the glue shows through a bit. Not terribly, but enough that I don't want it to show. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of center it. Yeah, see how that glue shows through? And I don't think it's as bad when it's dry, but it's enough that I don't. Same thing with the lace. We're just going to do it in the center. 
And I kind of like to have it, you know, a little loose. And then maybe a little more here. And then paper we will glue all the way around. That we don't want coming up. lace ribbon. Mm, it kind of looks nice. Let me just see if there's anything else. I have a big bucket of ribbon here. So let me see. Oh, burlap. Let me do some burlap. Mm, that's kind of probably too big for the burlap. Have some satin. Satin ribbon. I think the glue would show through on that satin ribbon. Uh, oh, we could get really let's see how this is out. We could get really blingy. That's too much. Uh, I also have oh my gosh, a giant giant mess in here. But I have some. Uh, that's blue is a little too too shiny. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else that looks interesting. Oh, here. Get some, some more vintage lace. This one's a little more simple. I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, let's use that. a little crooked but the trim will cover it up. That is part of why we are using it. it covers up our multitude of errors. <laughs> My multitude of errors. into it. I don't know why. Still a little. Oops, sorry. Just bumped into the camera again.
Okay. Just gonna put a little, actually I'm gonna, let me clean my finger off. And put a little glue and just run it along that edge so it doesn't have too much. There we go. And there's the back. Yeah, that looks nice. Nice and finished, and the front looks nice. 